we need this first step, which is a little frustrating intellectually, because if we have a, a transversality as trame, and we would have ten trame, we can uh, try to, to imagine a lot of transversal, more we have transversal search engines, uh, more the, we would have as scholars the, 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 we, will have, we, will, uh, be, we will be frustrated if we cannot add questions to these large uh, interrogation possibilities if I, I hope you understand what I, what I say very simply uh, but we need this first step because no the transversality has not has not yet uh, has not yet been concretely realized through uh, search engines for medieval studies not yet no or I am not informed uh, only one or two or three trami is an example but it is a first step this is another issue we should have in the next years the possibility to to uh, have more reflections in our group and also more realization to a second step to have the possibility, technological possibility to add questions, other questions to these, uh, uh, the quantity of uh, information which search uh, uh, engines uh, uh, give to us. This is my uh, opinion. So, the discussion is open and then we go to coffee. <laughs> Please, if someone...
perché eh, l'accesso all'informazione avviene attraverso dei descrittori standard che sono nomi titoli. Questi nomi e questi titoli devono essere qualificati De in modo che io sappia che un nome corrisponde a un autore, a un traduttore, a un annotatore, a una persona che magari in quel momento svolge solo l'azione di autore ma è stato anche traduttore. Cioè ci sono dei legami che ora non sono fortemente standardizzati. Su questi bisogna lavorare perché altrimenti eh, noi possiamo accedere ai dati ma non riusciamo mai a seguire eh, il
this is the case, I would like to have non-implementable matter. I, I prefer to have something that is not implementable but who answers to my scientific needs and to my scientific issues. And on this base, to force the technician to make it implementable. That was, uh, if you want, the idea of my speech today. Uh, I, I, when, when, I, when I first uh, speaking about non-implementability, I have a reaction of love for this non-implementability. Because I, I guess that this depends on the fact that technical information is not enough has not enough attention, has paid not enough attention to what is my, as a phenologist, as a, a cosmologist, is my need, is my uh, 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 As I stress, uh, uh, I take it to a stream, okay? but uh, I'd like to have a discussion on this plan. So, Okay, the non-implementable, I, I try to repeat that, was referring to the inherent limitations of our technological paradigms, namely the so-called semantic weapon, which is not semantic in a human sense of reasoning, but is rather built on deterministic <coughs> logic and denotation. So once you try to go beyond very simple logic-based assumptions and try to bring in things we always bring in, in the humanities, such as connotation, irony, um, signification modes that are a bit more complex than mere denotation, the technology simply fails. Um, and you can throw as much money and resources at developers as you wish, who will not obtain results because of the inherent limitations of that methodology. That's something to, to simply be aware of. Um, and frankly speaking, I don't think you can force these poor developers to produce results that are beyond their faculties. something like 
learn to try to have some kind of experience in the logic, in the formal logic, in the, and so on. You have to, to be a, a, an expert of uh, um, a, a domain which is quite a side domain in the in our in our particular field of study. So problem is how to federate, how to integrate, how to possibly shift from entity relation to semantic Yes, <laughs> you can now stop.